so this is what it looks like on i love it it's so pretty i just love the material of this um top and skirt it's like that scuba material but it's like still flattering on your body i love it i'm gonna go blow dry my hair right now ever since i got a keratin it's just been so much easier for me to blow dry my hair honestly i can even let it air dry by itself and it'll still be straight that's how amazing that keratin is and a lot of you guys have been asking me what um type of keratin i got i got the 24 karat one because she said that was like the most intense one because i have like really curly hair um and i've washed my hair i oh my god i look so dark i've washed my hair about how many times i i want to say over 12 times since i did it and i did it about a month ago no it hasn't even been a month it has been it's been a few weeks since I've gotten it so it has definitely made a huge difference on my hair and she said I have to do it about how many times every three months she said I'm gonna include a clip right now of um, the little process I did film it a little bit um, but it was super easy it was super fast and the only thing that took forever was when she actually put the keratin in my hair I had to wait about 40 minutes for it to like sink into my hair into my scalp actually let me just tell you guys, my scalp has been so dry. It's been like very flaky too. Like it makes me have to wash my hair two times, even three times a week now because I just, I can't deal with all that flakiness on my roots. So, and also a lot of people were saying that I had like dry shampoo that I wasn't brushing on my hair. That's not the case. The keratin actually, um, lightened my hair so that's why it looks lighter on the top but i am gonna dye it back to black she just said i had to wait like two weeks but it's been over two weeks so i guess i can do that now and i'm probably just gonna go to her so she can do it because i really love like how she worked on my hair and how she like took her time and yeah she was a really good hairstylist so i am going to talking about that let me just include the clip right here so you guys can see the little process and i'm gonna go blow dry my hair Okay, so here's what my hair looks like after she washed it. She just used some special um, keratin shampoo and conditioner. And then this is after she put the keratin in my hair. I just pretty much had to wear this cap for like 30, 40 minutes. I don't remember how long, but it was a pretty long time. And then after um, it was all set into my hair, she didn't wash it out. She just pretty, pretty much parted my hair into a few parts and then started flat ironing everything from the bottom to the top of my hair and that was the entire process i just got dressed finished with my hair my makeup and i don't know how i feel about my hair i don't know if i want to keep it like in the center or maybe do like a side part i don't know it's a struggle but i do love my outfit like i'm obsessed with this unfortunately like this is the only one that i saw on the top shop website like it's a two-piece set so I'm gonna check ASOS to see if I find something similar. I'm not gonna wear these sneakers, but I feel like they look so cute. Like it looks super girly, right? Um, I still have to put on some lip gloss and I'm gonna put on a little bit more of concealer. That's why I have some on the back of my hand. And um, I don't wanna say this yet, but I might like the new Tarte foundation more than my Holy Grail. And that's saying a lot because you guys know like this is my all-time favorite my most amazing most loved foundation actually I went to Sephora yesterday where's my where is the bag <laughs> okay I went to Sephora yesterday and I got so much stuff when I get home tonight I'm gonna do a Sephora haul and I ended up buying another <laughs> makeup forever mattifying foundation because i felt i feel like i haven't been wearing that foundation because i don't have a color that matches me perfectly so i went to the store yesterday to sephora and i was like let me just look for um the through the foundations to see if i found one that matches me and i ended up buying 35 and then i found out that i have 35 already um but i was like looking through my makeup and i was like i have like 10 of these foundations why in the world would i buy another one but i just i guess i just don't think but hey knuckle boy um i'll probably go to sephora um what's today thursday i probably go tomorrow and just return it for another foundation i want to try a new foundation i love the new tarte foundation like you guys saw in the video how i was like trying it out and i said i was really excited because i don't really have a ton of products right now that i'm really excited for you know it's just 
I feel like makeup companies need to come out with new products. I actually just got, um, let me just lay the camera here so I can do my concealer. I just got a new palette from Morphe Brushes. Let me show it to you guys. <laughs> Where is it? Am I talking too fast? I feel like I'm talking so quickly. Um, I just got some new single eyeshadows from Morphe Brushes. I didn't put all of them inside the Z palette, but I just put in like the cool neutral shades that I would use because I already have another C palette like filled with like warm eyeshadows. So I wanted to do one just with like cool tones and mostly all of these are Makeup Geek and Anastasia. These are my favorite single eyeshadows. Um, I did try the like the satin finish and honestly I wasn't crazy about it. It's not really super pigmented, but I do like the matte ones. So I might feature these in the nearby future in a video because, ow, that kind of hurt. Okay, let me do my concealer before my makeup like really dries out and then it won't come out nicely. Um, but the reason I was saying, I just quickly went off topic so quickly. Um, the reason I was saying that I love the new um, Tarte foundation more than the Makeup Forever is because it's a little bit more hydrating for my skin and I was contouring my face and I was like, oh my god, wait, it looks a little patchy. Like my contour, can you guys tell? It looks a little patchy and I don't like that. With the Tarte foundation, it's so hydrating yet it, I don't know, it's like hydrating full coverage and it kind of like keeps my face matte. But when I put like powders on top of it, like it just, it goes on so easily. So I don't know, that foundation is like winning me over every single day. And um, I'm not wearing it today, I'm wearing the Makeup Forever. So we shall see. <laughs> oh, and when I get home after I film my Sephora haul, I'm gonna do my PO Box unboxing with you guys because I honestly cannot keep these boxes any longer in this little corner right here especially because when we have people coming over like that's the first thing you see because the door is like right in front of the kitchen like in the kitchen um so yes i am promising to myself that when i get home i'm gonna do the unboxing because i've been like every day i'm like okay i'm gonna do the unboxing for them i'm gonna show them what i've been getting so i can like separate everything um and i end up just not doing it for some odd reason so Yes, we should do that and I'm going I honestly did not know where I was going to today I just knew that it was an event that um premiere or something premiere for Maybelline so I'm kind of excited um you guys know I really don't go out and sometimes when I do go out I just want to come back home but I'm actually excited because I haven't gone to like an event in a while I mean I went to the next one but I left really quickly I didn't stay there um for long and um, yeah, it should be fun tonight. I honestly did not know what makeup I wanted to do with this outfit because it's so like, I don't know, the colors are a little bit weird, like out of my comfort zone. But I went on Pinterest and I just searched for um, Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner makeup, that's what I did on Pinterest. And I got this makeup look, this picture of Kendall, and I was like, oh my god, this makeup will be perfect for this outfit. So. That's basically what I did on my face today. It's like really bright, fresh, springish. I did an intense, it's not super intense. I wouldn't say it's intense, but I did do eyeliner because I mean, I just feel, I don't feel like myself when I don't do eyeliner. So um, yeah, I love it. And I've been doing my eyebrows a little bit more bold because I don't know, I'm feeling it. It looks so, I feel like it looks so much better with my face shape because when I do really thin eyebrows, it just, it kind of makes my face look like round. And I don't feel like I have a round face. I feel like my face is like a heart shape. Let me see, can I just, yeah. I feel like my face is like a heart shape, it's not round. But when I do my eyebrows like that, it makes my face look round. So yeah, I feel like it's just finding the right eyebrow shape to make your face like look equivalent. If, you, if that makes sense, does that make sense? It probably just makes sense. Look at him, he's sad I'm leaving. Mackie boy, I'll see you later, okay? I love you very much. I think the car is downstairs. Yeah, the driver's there. Okay, I just have to put these away because he will tear them apart. Okay, so let me just show you guys my complete outfit before I leave. I have my beautiful favorite trench coat, which is a black one from Misguided, my Michael 
Kors purse. And then I ended up changing my heel. These are my heels. These are much more comfortable and I think they go perfect with like the pastel pink on the two-piece set. So, Maggie boy, I will see you later on, okay? So I told the driver to make a quick stop because I still haven't eaten. And it's already like, what time is it? I don't know, it's like 7 p.m. I think it's like 6 or 7. But I haven't eaten yet, so I told him to like stop at McDonald's. Um, actually, it's 6 p.m. But, um, yeah. I'm just gonna eat before we go to the bed because I'm gonna be there for over an hour and I don't know if they have food, so McDonald's it is. Same place where I pick up you, right? Yes. What you been doing here without me, you little crazy guy? Huh? What you been doing here without me, huh? You miss me, my Marco boy? Do you miss me? I miss you, my little Marco boy. <laughs> He's like, stop, just please stop. I just got home. Um, It was really nice. I had a really great time. I'm happy that I went. Remember I told you guys, I was like, oh, I don't really want to go over there. Um, But we basically just saw a movie. It was a movie premiere of like, fashion in America and in Paris and how they all came together and it was really nice. I actually learned a lot and um, I had a really great time so I'm happy that I went over there. I just literally got here um, and I got a package from ColourPop. <laughs> actually, let me show this to you guys right now. So, we're going to do a little unboxing but first, <sighs> just blow all this away. I am going to take a little cute picture for Instagram. Ooh, dark chocolate. Let's see, milk chocolate. I think dark chocolate doesn't break me out, so I might get away with eating this one. But these two, I can't, I can't eat at all. So it looks like they're coming out with new eyebrow pencils. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let me do a little quick Snapchat right now. Okay, yeah, this is cute. We have here the first one. This is exciting. Oh my god. Brow pencils. Yes! ColourPop slay the game. Oh my god. I love ColourPop. Like I told you guys, they're so innovative. Like they're always coming out with new products. Brow pencils. Like this is calling for a video, isn't it? It's calling for a video. I might film a video with it tomorrow. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Ah! Okay, wait, I'm, actually I wanna swatch. Mac just like looked at me. He's like, what's wrong with you? Stop it. Stop it. Okay, wait. I gotta use the knife for this one because it won't come off. Oh, look at this packaging. It's just so sleek and pretty. Let's look at the dofi. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't like the top. It looks like it can come off very easily because it doesn't have a grip, like it doesn't stick when you take it out, you see? I'm not even gonna do a review here. I'll do a full video on it. Brow colors, which are basically like dip brows. These are basically like gel powders. Okay, so these are basically like gel powders for your eyebrows. So like the Anastasia dip brow. Oh, let's open it. I can't open it. I don't even have strength to open it. I'm I'm like the weakest person ever. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> I almost broke my arm. Ooh, but this looks nice. It reminds me of their cream gel eyeliners, but this is what it looks like. Mm. I am so excited. I'm gonna try this tomorrow morning. I'm gonna do a full review on this. Yay! Okay, I'm excited. I am so excited. I told you guys earlier today I wasn't excited because I didn't have enough like new products But then I got that foundation and I was excited and now we have like new eyebrow products Mackie boy is eating his food finally. It's been like 24 hours He waits until the end of the day to eat his food. So I'm happy like he's just eating it now I'm actually gonna take this to Jose's mom. I feel like she'll eat this but 
They're so cute. Oh my god, ColourPop is always doing a great job with their um, new product launches. Oh my god, I love these heels. I just quickly wanted to mention them to you guys. I bought them at Forever 21 and they are so comfortable. Like, they're so short too. Like, can you see that heel? It's like really short. But it's really comfortable like i was walking around in them but i wasn't really walking around um but in the suite that we were in i did walk around a bit to like take pictures and stuff and they're so comfortable come on little boy okay so now i want to go reply to comments because i always like to take time out of my day um at least like an hour to reply to your comments 